Sisters. This is Dr. William Sneblin coming to you from With One Accord Ministries with a brief uh, Treasure Guardian video. As we're filming this, we are in the beginning of the uh, days of awe that precede Yom Kippur. And uh, last week, uh, Mary and I had the pleasure of being at a conference where I did a teaching on, among other things, the power of repentance and the power of working through these this period that the Almighty has given us to repent and to clean up our act, so to speak. And uh, part of that is I promised them that I would I would do a brief video about how to say the 13 attributes of divine, of divine mercy in Hebrew that we find in Exodus 34 verses 6 and 7. So um, this is what we're going to do. And let me just give it to you in English first. Um, this is the context is when um, Moses is up on the mountain and it says, Yahuwah descended in a cloud, this is verse 5, and stood there with him and proclaimed the name of Yahuwah. And now notice that because it, it's saying that this is the name of Yahuwah. And Yahuwah passed by before them and proclaimed. And then this is, if you will, one of his names. Yahuwah, Yahuwah. Elohim, merciful and gracious, long-suffering and abundant in goodness and truth, keeping mercy for thousands, forgiving iniquity and transgression and sin, and it will no wise, by no means, clear the guilty. So this is the phrase in English. And as you can see here, this is, this is basically listing these 13 different attributes about how, how merciful and how long-suffering the Almighty is because we, we understand, if, if we are honest with ourselves, we all have sin in our lives, hopefully not to a great degree, but we, we all have, have issues. And so every year during this period, this is a time of self-examination, it's a time of teshuva, of repentance. We're going to be doing more on that in a later video. But there is a lot of power in speaking forth these words in uh, the, the original Hebrew language. I mean, there's nothing wrong with English. There's nothing wrong with any other language. But the language of heaven, and I, I talked about this in other videos, the language of heaven is Hebrew. It is Lashon Kadosh. It's the holy tongue. And so... What we're going to do is we're going to put up a, a, a graphic uh, that shows this phonetically as I'm saying it, and I'm going to say this passage you just heard in Hebrew. And if you were to do this every day up until Yom Kippur, which is next Friday night and Saturday, this year, 2017, uh, on the secular calendar, it will really move things along, really awaken things within you and do things that are needful for you to do true teshuva and to get your account straight with our Heavenly Father on, on the Day of Atonement, Yom Kippur. So here is how it's said in Hebrew. Yahuwah, Yahuwah, el rakum vakanun, rek apayim brave sed ve'emet, notzer he sed le'alofim, no say avon fafasha vachato o vanachai. So, if you want to start practicing that, I, I tell people that are a little leery of Hebrew, because I understand Hebrew is a challenging language, but it is the language of the Tanakh, of the Old Testament, and just like anything else, it's much more easy to understand if you can read these things in Hebrew. Um, Beyond that, it's the language of heaven. So, you know, if you're planning on going there, it might be a good idea to start learning the language now down here. It's really a blessing, and I will bless you for it. So, basically, that's it. And if you would, if you, as you saw, that only took about less than a minute. And if you were to devoutly and prayerfully and carefully Speak this over yourself, because remember, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of Yahuwah, that we, you will really get an increase 
in the level of teshuva, of repentance, of insight, and also it's a blessing because it's proclaiming how even though we stumble, even though we fall, excuse me, we still have a heavenly Father who is merciful and forgiving and doesn't just cast us off like, you know, sometimes a, a human father or a human friend might do. So speak this forth over yourself every day over the next, you know, days until the day of Yom Kippur, and it will really bless you. Thank you so much. And again, this is a brief video, but we would ask you to please share it. And if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe because we're offering continually all sorts of useful tools, both for spiritual growth, but also for spiritual combat and for protection. And please also pray about supporting our work, our ministry. Thank you so much. And shalom, shalom. May you be richly blessed. Thank you.